Hello, every pony, and welcome back to Fandom Fridays, where we proceed to check out the fanfics that are not pony related. Why? Well, because I know what you did last night, and I want to say it's okay. I love Deadpool too. Well, today we got an interesting. Uh, much I freeze, I hope you don't mind. Uh, guys, you're not going to believe what he just picked for this week. Y you're just not. Uh, look, we understand that if this might not be your thing, and you might find him a little weird for choosing this pick, uh, you could go and do something else right now. Uh, to go watch a movie, or uh, go check out uh, Chalices and Kisses, or go to the main martial art for each channel and check out one of the other fix. Uh, yeah, you guys probably don't really want to know what he picked. Y you're not going to believe it. Trust us. When he told us what he was picking for today, we couldn't believe it. So, uh, go on. As I was saying, honestly, these girls have no faith in me. Full House. I bet there is a percentage of you that just clicked off the video right then and there. But, I digress. Yes, we, children of the 90s and a little bit of the 80s, all know about this. Heck, this show premiered one year after I was born. So, yeah, while this show, while I'm currently ranking at 30, this show is right now got me beat at being 29 years old. Expect the 30th anniversary DVD to come out anytime soon. Overly sappy, Michelle could probably annoy a lot of people by her, well, Spotlight Stealing Squad tendencies, and sometimes people can just be aggravated by da Danny Tanner in general. Heck, even Bob Saget goes little Coco for Coco Puffs and decides to, well, be the Ronci one of the Ronciest comedians I've ever seen in my life. No, I have not actually seen one of his shows, but I sometimes am tempted. Because I wonder if he'll give George Carlin a run for his money in the terms of uh, Rossi in this category. And, but, let's face it, some of the actors are pretty cool. The actress who plays Stephanie is a total babe. And I do applaud for her getting over her meth addiction. And Katie's Cameron is quite the sweet and very cute. So, if I know all this and... I will agree with a lot of people's criticisms of the whole story. Why am I so in love with this? Yeah, you turn on an episode of Full House and I'll stay behind and watch it. I've seen the entire series front to back. I can give you a list of my top ten favorite episodes. Believe it or not, I think that not one of that list actually involves Michelle. Yep, I just thought about it, but nope, not a single one. Most of them involve DJ or Stephanie, or Kimmy. So, why then? I mean, I'm a huge fan, I love the characters, and I do find myself laughing at the jokes, corny as they are. I groan at some of the really, really sappiness. Well, sometimes there are some moments I actually like, and I find myself enjoying it, so why on earth do I enjoy this show so much, even though I will disagree with it, even though I will agree with what people have commented on? Is it a guilty pleasure? Or perhaps I just really enjoy myself doing it. I don't think it's a sassy goggles, but perhaps... We should do what anybody who just found out that this show just got a renewal today. And yes, I will be watching Fuller House later. And do what any normal fan would when they want to revisit their past or check out a classic episode. They read, everybody say it with me now, FANFICS! And, oh boy, have I found an unusual salute. Make sure on fanfics.net. Did you know there's a Doctor Who and Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Doctor Who crossover with Full House and a Yu-Gi-Oh! 
I'm not even kidding, and the Yu-Gi-Oh! crossover is the one that fills up the whole <laughs> bunch. But today, I'm just going to pick a side from the normal section, and not the crazy crossovers, because I do not feel like reading any uh, stories featuring Stephanie and Kaiba. Yes, that is a thing I just said. You may go home now. Have I missed a fix? So, join us, won't you, as we hear at the Treeberry Memorial Library and proud to present Sisterly Silly Love by Princess Do Gooder. Sisterly Love by Princess Do Gooder. Chapter 1. Only Chapter. DJ was sitting on the couch, holding a 3D old Michelle. Stephanie came up for her. Hey, DJ! She said. How's the best big sister in the whole world? DJ laughed. Suspicious. What do you want? Let me hold my sister. Steph, you know Dad would say no. I'm almost this many. Stephanie said, holding her hand up. DJ laughed. <laughs> I must say, <laughs> you're better than I was. I used to sneak in your nursing room at 2 o'clock to be able to hold you. You did? Did you ever get caught? <laughs> yeah. Mom came into the nursery one time and saw me holding you. But it was the wrong way. She taught me how to hold you the right way. Did you get in trouble? No, though Mom did teach me to change your diaper. Stephanie laughed. DJ sighed but caved in. She kept a firm hand on the infant as Stephanie got a secure grasp on her upon her baby sister. Right. Speaking as an older brother, I had the strange urge to give my big, my little baby brother a big hug. You know what, Molly Tayu? You know what, me three? Come here, Twiley! There, like that. <laughs> Thanks, DJ. Stephanie squealed excitedly. She stealthily stroked her sister's cheek. Hello, Michelle. She cooed softly. I'm Stephanie, and I'm your big sister. You're the sweetest little baby in the world. Must resist making bad Olsen twins joke. You can't make me. Besides that, don't we actually try with our humor? We try with this show? I know that as you get older, there'll be times when we fight and argue. I know at times I might be mean to you without meaning to. But I want you to know, Michelle, I will always love you. I promise that I will always be there for you. And with that, she kissed the top of her sister's forehead. Danny and Pam chose that moment to walk in the door. Danny, did you see that? Pam whispered. How sweet is that? Danny squeezed her arm. It is sweet. But... I don't know how I feel comfortable with Stephanie holding her alone. Oh, Danny, hush up. Pam said lightly. She's not holding her alone. Pam motioned to Stephanie, who was now sitting on DJ's lap. You know, it's true what you said. What did I say? You said we would have three most beautiful daughters in the world. We really do. Well, Stephanie and DJ, yeah, but have you seen Michelle lately? <laughs> I said we were going to try with our humor. Now get your butt on that bed and start doing the review. Right? <laughs> right. Uh, little pain. Misery. Agony. Uh, Short, sweet, cute, to the point. <laughs> but I think it did help me answer... This short look didn't help me answer the question of why I'm kind of excited to see Fuller House and kind of why I want to see the episodes so I didn't watch it. Because I genuinely like it. Yeah, I'll admit the downfalls, but I'll also tell you what I like about the show. Well, everybody, while some people probably liked Michelle, I prefer the, the older two sisters. I really liked DJ's relationship with Steve. I loved Becky and Jesse's relationship as they grew up. Grew up. I loved the marriage episode, the Hawaii episode, and the the episode where the twins were born. Really, because I really loved the Stone Jesse. It was hilarious. Sometimes the comedy is missed, and sometimes the comedy is a hit. I will still watch that Urkel episode to the day I die, multiple times. 
and I just really enjoy it. I'll tell you what parts are good and what parts work. I'll also tell you what parts to watch out for. I like it because I genuinely do. I suppose that's what being a fan is in a nutshell, really. I mean, some people could probably look at me and tell me that Care Bears is this deep, awesome show, or this, or Care Bears has some really great, heartwarming, and sweet, and sentimental moments that I just don't know about. And the truth is, I don't. I just do not know about it. Nor would I probably want to. Care Bears just does not pull me in as much as Pony does. The heartwarming moments just does it. I, some moments just don't click with me as well as they would with a Care Bears fan. And this is okay in general. As I said once before on a review a long time ago, I could tell you, you could tell me that Edward is this deep, provocative character. That Bella represents the heart of female communities. And I would just shake my head at you going, really? Really? However, I could probably tell you the same thing about Pony and you would look at me the same way. But that's just it. I see something there that people don't. I'm not going to lie and say Full House is this deep or thought show that hits the issues hard. No, no, no. I saved that for Star Trek and Doctor Who and Pony. But I will tell you that there is stuff to love, but if you can't last on to it, that's okay. So I guess the reason why is I'm a fan of these characters and of this show, and well, I genuinely want to go back and rewatch to see where some of these characters have wound up in the future. I want to see where these characters have grown and how they changed. Maybe that's another big reason. All depends on. I think that's another thing you gotta think of. How do you approach your entertainment? Do you appreciate plot over characters? Or do you appreciate characters over plot? In the end, I guess it all depends on how you like it. Well, that was one down, thousands more to go. I'll see you next time. One more thing. You guys are probably wondering what next week is. Well, I'll tell you. Darkness beyond twilight. Crimson beyond flood that flows. Buried in the stream of time is where your power grows. I pledge myself to conquer all foes who stand before the mighty gift bestowed in my unworthy hand. Let the fools who stand before me be destroyed by the power you and I possess. DRAGON SLAVE! That's right. Next week, Slayers.